Hello, good evening, and welcome to Kaleida High School, where tonight on WOSN will bring you the Division III District Finals between the St. Henry Redskins and the Coldwater Cavaliers. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Chris Ludold, and we'll bring you all the action tonight here from Kaleida. And Chris, we got two fantastic volleyball teams that finish in the upper half of the Midwest Athletic Conference and the upper third of the Midwest Athletic Conference that uh, are, are pretty heated rivals that are, are looking for a spot in the regionals tonight. Well, it's too bad they have to meet in the district finals. They're both regional, regional caliber teams. But yeah, both from the same conference. Coldwater was, uh, shared the conference championship with New Bremen, St. Henry right after that. Both schools have won state championships, and they have a lot of uh, tradition. And the girls know each other from both schools, and and uh, this, this is going to be a great match. And we saw these two squads match up earlier in the season. Coldwater, or excuse me, uh, yeah, Coldwater won in three sets. And and how much can you take from that match, Chris? That you, you still carries over to now. And how different are you compared to when you you played back in you know early September? Well, it probably doesn't matter. Um, it was a while ago. It was early in the season. Um, I imagine both teams have improved, maybe tweaked their lineup a little bit. Uh, it's a it's a district championship, so the fact that uh, Coldwater won 3-0, I don't think uh, will really factor into it. And, and both sides, you know, every every coach wants to you know, say we're playing our best volleyball when or we're peaking at the right time. Both sides have won nine in a row. Both sides have um, really not been all that tested. Um, have played, you know, th three sets or two sets in invitationals in those nine those nine straight victories on, on both sides. Right, and I was here Monday night for the semis, and uh, each of these teams won in three. And um, the fact that, that you know you said something about they're peaking right now, and I would have to say that that is true in this case. So we're looking forward to some great high school volleyball action here. And tonight's premier sponsor is Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies. They're a premier sponsor for Mercer County teams with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. So we're getting set to get underway here in this Division Three District Final. The winner moves on to the Millbury Regional. And, and Chris, uh, you know, these schools separated by five miles. They made the hour 15 minute trip uh, <laughs> tri trip up here and it, it only gets longer from there. But uh, those are those are the fun ones when you're when you're going uh, pretty long distances. It, it means you're, you're, you're getting deeper and deeper into the tournament. Yeah, and that's an excellent point. And I, I think it would be a little anticlimactic if you played three miles away from home in the district championship. You want that sense of traveling and playing on the road and moving on in the tournament. So St. Henry will sub in their libero, Raya, Raya Busher, and they'll send Chloe Gells back to serve. Gells leads the squad in aces with 62. And she'll get us underway here in this district final. And the Coldwater Cavaliers will send it over to Jenner Ligers. She'll try to swing the hammer, dug out by the Redskins. And St. Henry gets the first point of the match with the kill from Mia Neekamp. She gets the Redskins on the board with a 1-0 advantage. She had a really big night on Monday night. In fact, both these outside hitters from St. Henry are just outstanding players. Uh, Mia Neekamp and Chloe Gells. Gells, the serve. Set from Mia, ne Mia Kanaki, excuse me. Sent over. Redskins with the dig. Swing from the center by Neekamp. Blocked by the Cavaliers. Well, Coldwater gets to serve now. They had 17 ace serves on Monday, so we'll see if they wow. can continue that or we'll see what St. Henry does to uh, to uh, pass their serve. So Spencer Etzler will serve for the Cavaliers. The 5'8 sophomore finds a spot in the back row of the St. Henry D. Swing from the Redskins, dug out by Coldwater. Kanapke, Ligers blocked at the net. And a prolonged contact called against the Redskins. Good call, the ball rolled up her arm. Spencer Etzler, just like Chloe Gells, leads the Cavaliers and Aces. It's 65 coming into tonight. Make it 66. Well, and there's that ace serve again. Etzler just a sophomore, now with 66 aces. Cavaliers with a 3-1 advantage here in the early stages of set number one. St. Henry's taking a step forward now, closer to the net, as both those first two serves are a bit short. And another ace for Etzler. Well, five points on the board already, and every point has come pretty quickly. 
Yeah, we have not had, not had many rallies here. As uh, back to back aces for Spencer Etzler has Coldwater with a three point advantage. Another tough serve to handle. Tried tip over by the Redskins. That's a nice play by Coldwater to get it back over. They'll set up on the outside to knee camp. Dug out by the Cavaliers. Swung on by Kendra Clooney from the outside. Tip straight back down. Dug out by the Redskins. Joust at the net. Madison Wendell able to get it back over for Coldwater. Nice pancake put there by the Redskins. Serve blocked by Clooney and Wendell. And the Cavaliers with an early 5-1 advantage. Well, that was a little longer point, wasn't it? That one <laughs> that took it more was. than just a few touches. Spencer Essler continues to serve for the black and orange. So we now get just a slow stoppage of play. I can hear Trisha Rosenbeck saying, I'm sorry, it's my bad. So Essler sends it into the net, and that'll put a red line on the momentum for just a moment. Ellie Fullenkamp now on to serve for St. Henry, a six-foot sophomore. And Chris, we mentioned before we came on the air, just five seniors um, for total in tonight's match. So a good chance we get to see these teams back at this stage next year as well. May all five of them play, though. But you're right, uh, actually fairly young teams out there. St. Henry with just two seniors, Coldwater with three. Cavaliers get the kill to make it 6-2. And Nelson Clooney back to serve. Left it a little long. And St. Henry trims the lead to 6-3. Well, teams that have a lot of ace serves also tend to have miss serves because they're serving tough, and that's the risk reward with that. It's a fine line that you got to walk there as a server. Swing by Morgan Blossing game, blocked by the Redskins. She'll try to free ball it back over. Dug out by St. Henry. Set from Lydia Whirling. Over to knee camp, big hammer drop from knee camp right down the line. Right down the line, yes. Cuts that lead to 6-4. So whirling after the set and the assist on the last point. They'll send it away for the Redskins on the jump serve. Into the back row. That's slow to the pass. Poked over by the Cavaliers. Another swing from knee camp and down. She's got three kills already. Ian e. Camp has cut the lead to one after things didn't get off to a great start for the Redskins, but they've clawed back. Cut that lead to one. It's 6-5. Cold water on the St. Henry Town scoreboard. Just whirling. Sends another serve. That one just over the net on the line drive. Behind the 10-foot line, blocked by the Redskins. Whirling cross court pass to Neekamp. She missed hit that one. And it's a two point lead for Coldwater. Well, you won't see that very often. It had a little miss hit, but I've seen uh, college first team All Americans miss hit ball, so we all do it. The six foot senior, just, just a bit of a timing issue there as Jenna Ligers now serves for the Cavaliers. Put too much mustard on that one, and a lead back down to one. And miss serve number three. So me and e Camp now on to serve for the Redskins. One of those five seniors in tonight's match that we talked about. Ball received by Etzler. Nice set by Ligers. Whirling, the set in the middle, trying to tip over. Can't get it. Ligers, the set, and a big kill there. Madison Wendell, I believe, gets the kill for Coldwater. 8-6, the advantage. It's Wendell now serving. Dug out by Ryan Busher. Back set for the Redskins, blocked at the net. And we get a Redskin in the net. I think that Goal was four. Molly Wendell. Yep. Yep, Molly Wendell called for in the net. She didn't want to. She tried <laughs> to lean away from it, but couldn't quite stay out of it. Madison Wendell, the serve, whirling to Gels. Miss hit that one into the net, and the lead grows to four for Coldwater. Mm -hmm. 
10-6 the advantage. Got a couple of service errors, a couple of miss hits. Each squad. Busher receives. Whirling. Set. Big swing air by Molly Wendell of St. Henry from her middle hitter spot. She's just a freshman. A 5-10 freshman. I'm sure Trisha Rosenbeck's got to be thrilled about her future as a volleyball player. As the serve from Busher hits the top part of the net, almost rolled over but down on the side of St. Henry for the service error. Serves like that, they can drop on either side of the net. Serve for Coldwater, just barely over the net. Set in the middle of the floor for Ellie Fullenkamp. And a point goes to the Renskins, 11-8. Yeah, I think that was a Clooney in the net. So Lauren Tiemann will start things for the Redskins in that back right corner. Ligers, the set. Etzler, the tip, dug out by St. Henry. Busher to Gels. Gels blocked by Kendra Clooney. Coldwater's done a pretty nice job here in the, in the early going of set number one, Chris, of, of getting that block up. Well, it helps uh, when you have Riley Rissmiller out there at 6'5". She was on that right side there along with Clooney. Sent away by Mia Kanapke. Swing for St. Henry, dug out by the Cavaliers, Madison Wendell. Etzler will tip it over. Dig by Gels, and Whirling trying to find a spot in the floor. Coldwater prepared for it. Etzler tips over again. And we've got a red skin in the net. He didn't catch the number. I believe Ellie Fullenkamp was the guilty party, but a timeout call. We'll step aside as well. 13 8 set number one. Coldwater leads on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor is presented by St. Henry Town and several locations in both Ohio and Indiana. Pushing the block to both the Coldwater Cavaliers and the St. Henry Redskins. 13-8 after the timeout. Coldwater nearly with the ace as Chloe Gells will get the swing and another big block by the Cavaliers. Kendra Clooney at the net with Jenna Ligers. Closes the door to extend that lead, the largest of the match, 14-8. Mia Kadapke to serve. She gets the top of the net with that one, though. And the run will end for the Cavaliers. So, Chris, out of that timeout, what's the, what was the, the message there from, from Trisha Rosen back to her St. Henry Redskins squad? Well, you know, I wasn't in the huddle, but I would have been <laughs> saying, you know, first, let's pass a little bit better. Uh, they're blocking us, so make sure we're covering that block. Jenna Liger's the kill on the tough angle there. 15-9. to nine. I don't know how she did that. The ball... Landed right in the uh, the old Wildcat's mouth. <laughs> and that, that's as tough as an angle, I think, as you, you <laughs> can is. about get. So Spencer Etzler will serve once again. The knuckleball right into the middle of that St. Henry defense. Swing from Kanapke down the line. Dug out by the Cavaliers. Ligers gets a right hand on it. Miscommunication there. Redskins get on the same page at the last moment. Ligers another swing and finds the floor. That's her second kill. 16-9. have only been four kills on each side. Uh, a lot of the points are coming on uh, airs. Is that just a, a jitters thing here to, to get be. things going? It could be. I know they're both really excited, so it's possible. Long serving in the back row by Etzler. Knee camp, a swing, dug out by the Cavaliers. They'll set up Madison Wendell, and she finds the floor. An eight-point advantage now for Coldwater at 17-9. And that's her second kill. Etzler will send it away once again with an eight-point advantage. San Henry changing to receive just a bit. That one dug down the front row as Kneecamp has to cut it down the line. Back set. Looking for Kendra Clooney. Sent it wide. And St. Henry stops the bleeding. Uh, 
Ellie Fullenkamp will serve for the Redskins. Sidewinder down that far side. Swung on by Madison Wendell. Dug out by the Redskins. Back row. Rolled over. Wendell. The tip and down for Matt from uh, Mia Kadapke, excuse me, to Madison Wendell on the tip. Again, a, nice, a good location there. She, either one of the coaches picked that up or uh, maybe she could see that out of the corner of her eye. Kira Kanapke on to serve now for Coldwater, 5'10 freshman. We'll send it away on the jump serve, and she gets an ace. That's a third ace for um, Coldwater. Coming just inside that line. Another timeout called by the Redskins. We'll step aside as well, 19-10. Coldwater the advantage here on WOSN. out of the timeout. Coldwater looking to close out set number one. Here is Kira Kanapke sends it away and a back-to-back -back ace for Kanapke as Coldwater doubling up St. Henry on the St. Henry Tile scoreboard at 20-10. Well, you don't want to give up an ace coming out of a timeout. Kanapke will send it away again. Another one. Kira Kanapke's found a little something. Three a, straight aces. Yep, and five all together for Coldwater. She'll send it away again, that one, into the net. Say Henry will look to start a rally here. That's Molly Wendell for St. Henry. There are Molly Wendells on each side. Tonight we'll try our best to. Madison Wendell, though, for Coldwater. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. correct. Madison Wendell for Coldwater. Ooh, good serve. Center of the back row, dug out by the Coldwater libero. Swing there from Jenna Ligers. Dug out by the Redskins. Knee camp, the swing. Nice save by Coldwater. We get a whistle. The Cavalier in the net. Yeah, I didn't know if they were going to call in the net or stepping across the line. Nonetheless, the point goes to the Redskins. They'll trim that lead back down to nine at 21 12. Short serve, dug out by Etzler. Set, swung on. Nice save by the Redskins. And Unfortunately, Molly Wendell runs into the ladder there. Uh, probably wasn't going to be able to play it anyway, but now the official will have to come down and reset the ladder. Yeah, Dave Miller, one of the good officials in our area. Uh, now, that, now, she could have played that ball as long as you get to it before the ball crosses that line. Another service error there for the Cavaliers. So she, so she can go... She, she can play the she ball, and, and after she plays it, she can cross the line then. She, she just she, has to get it before. Yeah, have to get it before the ball crosses the line, yep. And it has to come back, of course, on their own right, side. Right, right, right. So the set for Coldwater, swung on by Morgan Blossing game, and a point goes to the Redskins. Still saying Mia Kanaki was in the net. Well, her follow-through must have... Uh, Oh, well, she was the setter, yeah, so she must have had her shoulder in the net. Getting a clarification, that's the captain for Coldwater, Jenna Ligers. So, Mia Kadaki will send another serve away here for the Redskins. As Coldwater tries to close out set number one, leading 22-14. Make it 22-15. Nice little run here for uh, St. Henry. Yeah, it was 20-10 at one point. Now it's 22-15 as the Redskins scratch and claw their way back. Knee camp, the serve, dug out by the Cavaliers. That's Riss Miller who just came into the game. Ligers, the set. And it's a little wide there on this swing from Madison Wendell. And St. Henry building a little momentum there. It's, uh, by the way, the Redskins faithful brought a busload of folks here. A timeout call will step aside as well. 22-16. Cavaliers the advantage here on Game 1 WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard presented by St. Henry Tile. They have several locations in both Ohio and Indiana. Best of luck. 
tournaments continue and begin this Friday night for the high school football season. Both squads, of course, for Coldwater and St. Henry in the playoffs as per the norm. As Neekamp sends it away, big swing, dug out by Neekamp there in the back row. Gels will send it over, rolls it. It's dug out by the Cavaliers. They've just got to get it over. Swung on by Riss Miller. Busher, the prolonged contact there, or double contact, I should say, to make it 23 16. one of those even where Chris a volleyball novice like me thought that didn't look uh, that didn't look exactly right now I got to correct myself I said that Russ Miller came in to play back row she, that was not Russ Miller that was Clooney that came in before the timeout blocked at the net whirling the back set to the far side of the floor dug out by the Cavaliers Ligers quick set to Morgan Blossing game dug out by St. Henry Gels sends it it's blocked by Russ Miller that time at the outside blocker spot Riss Miller, like we said earlier, 6'5", senior, playing Division I basketball. Next. Where's she going? Uh, with Miami University. Very good. Xavier, maybe. Now, it's one of those no. two. One of those <laughs> two. A better announcer would be able to tell you for sure. Gels the swing. Ligers. Big swing by Morgan Blossing. Game got all of that one to end set number one, 25-16. Game number one goes to Coldwater. We'll step aside, come back with set number two action here in this Division Three District Final on WOSN. Tonight's premier sponsor is Lake Home Industrial and Welding Supplies, the premier sponsor for Mercer County teams. Set number two about to get underway here between the Cavaliers and the Redskins. And Chris, what stood out for you there in that, in that first set statistically? Well, let's just review it here. Eight kills from for uh, Coldwater, five ace serves. So one, those five ace serves. Now they also missed six serves, but they're serving pretty tough. They blocked really, really well, three blocks for points. Uh, for St. Henry, uh, they only had four kills. And one ace serve, all and three of those kills from knee camp. She also had the ace serves. They only missed one, but they didn't have any block for points. So I think if you're uh, Coldwire, keep serving tough. If you're St. Henry, we got to serve receive better. So the first point of the match goes to the Cavaliers after the swing from Chloe Gals is into the net. Coldwater up one nothing, and I mentioned at the end of set number one that Riley Rissmiller for Coldwater will play Division One basketball. I couldn't remember if it was. Miami or Xavier, it's neither. She will play at the University of Dayton, and I knew that. <laughs> but uh, Riley Rissmiller gonna play uh, Division I basketball for UD, so. Uh, uh, best of luck to her. Great athlete as Raya Busher gets the dig there. Swung on by the Redskins, Ellie Fullenkamp blocked. Another swing from Chloe Gells, that one tough to handle, and she gets the point. Just her first kill, went cross court that time. So tied at one. And uh, is the, was the message there between sets, maybe from Trisha Rosenbeck for St. Henry, the, that we can't get down in this set like we did that in, in that first set? It's just, it, it, it's tough to claw back there, especially when you get to these district well, finals. That, that would be a good thing to say. I think also they did a nice job after that uh, timeout to get themselves back in it. So that, yeah. that's a positive thing. Me and E camp the swing, rejected. Set back over to her. She'll tip that one, and that one finds the floor to give St. Henry the 2-1 lead in set number two. Is the Redskin faithful? And we've got a great crowd on in here tonight, Chris. Uh, kudos to the St. Henry and Coldwater football programs for making sure their uh, kids could get up here. But we got a lot of uh, young folks in the crowd tonight. Well, there have to be 200 students from St. Henry here of all ages, elementary school included, and I'd say probably a, a, at least 100 from Coldwater. And the kill goes to Jenna Ligers on that one. Nearly dug out and nearly pancaked by St. Henry on that far side, but we're tied at two after Jenna Ligers, who averages three and a half kills per set, gets that one to tie us up. And that's her fourth. Spencer Etzler will serve for the Cavaliers. 5'8 sophomore, the knuckleball, and she's got an ace. Those serves from Etzler are tough to handle, Chris. Well, you know, from our viewpoint, they don't look that tough. She does serve a knuckleball, though. I'm sure that ball's moving all over. And she also mixes it up as far as depth, short and then long. 
That one returned right over to the cold water side. Quick set, middle hitter. Blocked by the Redskins. Knee camp has to roll it over. Dug out by Etzler. Set quickly to Ligers, and it's just wide. Jenna Ligers tried to tuck it inside that sideline, couldn't get it. I've seen her do that, you know, she's a really good outside hitter, first team all conference. Ellie Fullenkamp now the surf along that far side. Mia Kanapke, the set, tipped over by the Cavaliers, and a quick set back over by the Redskins. Coldwater returns it as well. Whirling, the set to Niekamp, blocked at the net, dug out by Whirling. They'll set up Mia Niekamp. She cuts it down the line and in. She got three of her kills down line, two of her kills across court. So St. Henry, the 4-3 lead on the St. Henry Tile scoreboard. As Ellie Fullenkamp will serve another. Into the back row. Tough first pass by the Cavaliers. They will barely get over the net. Niekamp will roll that one over. Kanapke swung on, dug out by the Redskins. Tip as Maya Ontrop tried to find a campfire. Joust at the net, goes to St. Henry. Lydia Whirlwind gets the point. As you can hear the Redskin faithful now with a 5-3 advantage. Another serve upcoming here from Fullenkamp. Six-foot sophomore into the back row. Rolled over. Whirling. Set to knee camp. Dug out by Mia Kanapke. Swung on by Ligers. St. Henry the dig. Whirling the quick over. And it's dug out by Coldwater. And that ball's in on the line in the back row. Jenna Ligers. Not the thunderous kill we're used to from her, but it hits the floor nonetheless and cuts the lead to one. Well, it was, you know, if you're in the back row, that's a tough one. The, the, you always kind of think the softer the, court, the softer the hit, the bigger the court, because the softer they are, they're going to dip and drop. And it dropped right on the back line. Kendra Clooney the serve. Kendra Clooney the ace, and we're tied at five. That's her first ace. Seventh overall for the Cavaliers. And, and what are, what's St. Henry's response to that, or what can you do to, to try to limit those, those aces that well, Coldwater's put on the second. board? <laughs> Whirling. Knee camp to swing. Knee camp finds the floor to give the lead back to the Redskins at 6-5. You try to tell your girls that when, when you're getting ace like this, what your mentality is, I want you to serve this ball to me because I know I'm going to pass it, and that way it ends with me winning it. I don't want you to serve it into the net. I don't want, I don't want us to get the ball back in that manner. The ace for St. Henry there. Coldwater celebrated like they thought it was out, but the point goes to the Redskins. As Lydia Whirling gets the ace. That's only the second ace for the Redskins tonight. And, and are, are aces sort of like errors in baseball that you, when you start stacking them, you start, you start getting more and more and more of them? Yeah, it, it can be, yep. Although in baseball, it can, there can be a judgment call on whether or not you give an error. And in volleyball, it's right. not. There's no judgment to it. Ball tipped and finds the floor for Coldwater, so the Cavaliers get the point. As they trail 7-6, Jenna Ligers will send it away. Into the middle of that St. Henry receive. Swing, left it a little long, did Molly Wendell. Redskins adamant that the ball was tipped. No one saw it, at least no one that matters, none of the four <laughs> officials. A lot of folks in reds thought, th yeah. thought that the ball was tipped. But the point goes to Coldwater, and we're tied at 7 on the St. Henry Tile scoreboard. As Ligers into the middle of the defense once again. Whirling, set to knee camp. Left that one a little wide. Back to that point about, you know, an error in baseball. An error, if you, you know, it's, it's normal effort. With normal effort um, is the term in the stat rule book. Mm -hmm. But in volleyball, you can give your absolute best effort. Doesn't matter, it's, it's an ace. Blocked at the net by the Redskins. Riss Miller tries to cut it down the line. Dug out by Whirling. Sent over. And the Redskins get the kill. 
as Molly Wendell. That's her second kill. Tallies another one to make it 8-8. Eight, eight. So oh. Mia Niekamp will serve. And back to your earlier point, um, the Redskins did get off to a, a good start here in set they two. They did. Received by Etzler. And it's set straight to the floor as it got to the net. But put right back down Madison Brunswick. As long as that ball gets to the, you know, a small part of the ball goes across the net, the uh, Redskins can play that. Excuse me, Molly Wendell, the kill there. As the ball sent away by Niekamp. And we've got a Cavalier in the net. I believe we had a double contact, actually. Oh, okay. On that, yep. But nonetheless, the lead grows to two. It's 10-8, St. Henry with the lead. Niekamp serving. Ligers goes and chases it. Tipped over, dug out by Raya Busher, the diving Raya Busher. Chloe Gell's the swing. Essler at the dig. Set over to Madison Wendell. St. Henry keeps it alive. Gells gets it over to block him down. Chloe Gells the kill. Three-point advantage for St. Henry. Timeout called by Coldwater. Break in the action and a break here on WOSN. Today's scoreboard presented by St. Henry Tile with locations in both Ohio and Indiana. And she has to block the area teams. The timeout called by the Cavaliers as Nikki Etzler wanted to regroup her Coldwater squad there and uh, just talk things over for a hot second as St. Henry has a little bit of a lead, a little bit of momentum, Chris. Right, and uh, they're playing better really in all categories. Swing by Riss Miller, or excuse me, by Madison Wendell. Blocked, out of play. And the point goes to Coldwater. And that's her fifth kill. And now Wendell comes back to serve. Trailing 11-9 on that St. Henry Tile scoreboard. Standing serve. And a standing ace. Well, I, it looked like uh, the serve received there. The girls weren't sure if it was out or not. Should we play it? Shouldn't we play it? Waited just a split second too long. And Wendell gets the ace. Ooh, nice footwork there. Whirling to Gels. Gels high and wide. And Coldwater has tied it at 11. A good timeout, evidently, huh? I would say so. Madison Wendell, the 5'11 junior. Serving for Coldwater, got it just over the net. Raya Bush with a dig, whirling. Back set, Entrop has to get it over, and it sent straight down by Morgan Blasingame. Redskins got a paw on it. But it's 12 11, and now a timeout call by St. Henry will step aside as well. Cavaliers taking the advantage here in set number two on WOSN. Tonight's premier sponsor for Mercer County teams is Lady Bell Industrial and Wildlife Supply. St. Henry calls a timeout after surrendering the lead. Make it 12-11 on the St. Henry Tile scoreboard between Coldwater and St. Henry. Cavaliers with the lead. As Raya Busher will pass up ahead to Gels. Gels swung on, dug out by the Cavaliers. Spencer Etzler tries to tip it over. Busher the dig to Gels. Swing, dug out by Coldwater. From the back row, long, and the point goes to St. Henry, and we're tied at 12. Partway through that uh, point, uh, Whirling had to handle the first ball, and, and Busher was moving in to receive that way before Whirling even touched the touched the ball. That's what teams now are, are letting that libero handle the second ball when the setter has to take the first one. Swing there from Coldwater into the back row and down. 13-12 the kill. I believe Spencer Etzler got that one. Yep. Just her first kill tonight. She tried a, a couple of tips to catch him off guard. Got a little power on that one as the Redskins have to just roll that over. Liger's the quick set, dug out by Raya Busher. 
Swing from the far side. Coldwater the save. Etzler the swing. Busher the dig once again. Whirling. Pass in the middle. Blocked at the net. And they'll set up Kendra Clooney. And she couldn't get it inside the line. Just a bit right and wide. And a lead. Evaporates once again. We're tied at 13. Lauren Tiemann finds her spot on the floor to serve for St. Henry. Deep serve as Etzler rolls one over. Dug out by Ryan Busher. The pass wide to Gels. Tipped at the net by Coldwater. Ligers back sent to Riss Miller. Riss Miller gets it down. Right. That's, her, that's her first kill. Five girls now have kills for Coldwater. And it, it, how difficult is that to defend when you, you don't have to just say, all right, we're going to set the block up in, yeah. in, in front of here. That anybody on the floor, that and Coldwater's proven that. Yep. Chloe Gells this swing. Nice dig at the net, and it's won by Jenna Ligers. Well, I thought we might see a joust there, but we didn't, and she, she timed that really well. That she did to extend the lead back out to two at 15-13. Mia Kanaki serving. Whirling slaps it over. Kanaki over to Etzler. Etzler the swing, blocked and down. That's the first block for St. Henry tonight. And by block, we mean a block for a point. And when, and you can survive those, correct? It's just when Coldwater has in that first set you know, eight kills and five aces. It's, you got to yes. kind of combat that a little bit. As the swing for Ligers is just long, she says she's adamant that the ball was tipped by a Redskin. And similar to what happened to a St. Henry earlier in the set. So nobody, it's a, it's a wash then, right? Yeah, nobody so nobody each, in blue says yeah. they saw it. Well, each, time got, each team got one, so. Ball at the net, sent straight to the floor by Ellie Fullenkamp and the lead back to the Redskins at 16-15. Well, Kanapke was down there ready for that, but uh, it just came too quickly for Gels to serve. Dug out by Kanapke. Big swing there for the Cavaliers as Jenna Lagers gets another one to tie it at 16. Yeah, she didn't need a touch on that one. That was, uh, that's her seventh kill. So Spencer Etzler back to serve for Coldwater. This has been a good rotation for Coldwater tonight. She's got a couple of aces here. Ball dug out at the net. Swing from Kanapke, blocked in the point to the Colt Cavaliers. When Whirling's in the front row, they just have two hitters, so they like to run uh, knee camp in the middle on that. It's been successful for them, but that time the block was there. 17-16, Coldwater with the advantage. That's where they serve at the net. Tipped over. Coldwater gets it over. Ligers gets the unconventional kill off the fingertips of a red skin. Didn't get much on it, but enough to hit it to the floor, and it's a two-point lead for Coldwater. Etzler the serve, dug out by the Redskins. Knee camp, partially blocked at the net. Cavaliers trying to tip it over. Redskins will save. Knee camp, a big swing, drops the hammer to cut the lead to one. That's her seventh kill. Well, Garrett, the way this set's going, we might see a two-pointer. We might see extra points. 18-17, got a win by two here in set number two. As Ellie Fullenkamp will serve. Punches it into the back row. Kanapke set on the far side to Madison Wendell. She gets the point. Lead back out to two. She's got three kills now in each set. You know, Garrett in Michigan, when they play uh, tournaments on Saturday, mm -hmm. they have a 27 point cap. So, so you can it, only. You, you, so 27, 26. One, right, one. And, they, and, and then set three is a 15, and they have a 17 point cap. So 27 point cap and 17 point cap. Swing there from Maya on wide. Grows the lead for Coldwater at three. 
Well, that's not the case on uh, regular five set matches, conventional rules for that. So is that one of those you got to remind your kid, like, hey, remember? Well, I think that they're in Michigan. They, know, they probably know. They do it all. They can play 50 matches, I think, in, Mich in Michigan. Wow. Another swing from knee camp wide, and the lead to four now for Cole. Timeout called by St. Henry. We'll step aside as well. Cole Walker with a four point lead in set number two on W. Coldwater looking to close out set number two with a 2117 lead over the St. Henry. That's it. Tom Garrison right alongside Chris Nicole bringing you all the action here in this Division Three district final. As Kira Kanapke serves for the Cavaliers. Whirling back set to knee camp, blocked at the net. Another big swing there for Morgan. Blazing game of cold water. Lead grows to five. And Morgan gets her fourth kill. 22-17. Cavaliers looking to go up two games to none. Kira Kanapke the serve. Ryan Busher receives. Redskins able to get it over. Nearly hit the floor. Swing from Ligers, dug out by St. Henry. Whirling, the pass to Kneekamp. Kneekamp blocked at the net. A little prolonged contact after that block. Tough ball to handle there by Maya Antrop. 23-17. So As Kanaki serves once again. Busher receives. Whirling, set to Kneekamp. Saved by the Cavaliers, big swing, nice dig by St. Henry. Rolled over at the net, tipped over, dug out by the Redskins. Sent wide to Kneekamp, Kneekamp able to hit the floor. Garrett, in that little play right there, we had great setting from both sides. Uh, Kanapke for Coldwater and Whirling for St. Henry, just each of them had some really good sets. On the move, jumping, pulling it out of the net, I think maybe Whirling was on the floor for one of them, sitting on the floor or close to it. Just really nice job by the setters. Yeah, aforementioned Whirling serves. Kanapke the set, big swing, blocked by the Redskins, but it's wide, and it gives Coldwater a 24-18 advantage, and it's now set point. Jenna Ligers. Serving for the black and orange. Looking to finish set number two. 24-18. Knee camp, tips it over, dug out by Etzler. Ligers, tipped, blocked, and it's down. And St. Henry prolongs the set by another point. Well, they can help themselves, if not by winning this set, by at least getting some momentum into set three. Coldwater one set number one, 25-16. It's 24-19 here as Knee Camp will serve. Ligers, the set, swung on. The kill goes to Madison Wendell, and the set goes to Coldwater. 25-19. Game number two goes to the Cavaliers. The snap aside, come back with third set action in the Division Three District Final. John W. OSN. Scoreboard presented by St. Henry Tower with locations in both Ohio and Indiana. All area teams. I'm here at Seawright with Chris Ludhold. Set number three of this Division Three District Final. I'm out to get underway. Coldwater winners of set number one and two. So St. Henry playing to avoid elimination here in this OHSAA tournament volleyball match. And for Coldwater, Chris, uh, in that second set, they didn't get near as many aces, but, no, they but, but the kills were more bountiful. Yeah, they had three aces as opposed to five in the first set, 14 kills led by Jenna Ligers with five. Coldwater able to re return that serve. Whirling, the back set to Kneekamp, she miss hits it, and the first set point of the set goes to Coldwater. But St. Henry also hit the ball better than they did in the first set. They just had four kills in the first set, 11 in the second, led by Kneekamp with five. 
Spencer Ensler serving for Coldwater. She gets the ace. That's ace number four tonight for the sophomore. That's a tough serve to receive. 2-0 Cavaliers. Well, now they're going to switch up their serve receive a little bit. That's sort of another knuckleball. Whirling has to go chase it. Kneecamp to swing. Kneecamp to kill. That's her ninth kill tonight. Mia Kneecamp, the senior. Having a nice night. Ellie Fullenkamp will serve. Punches it over. Kanapke, the set, dug out by St. Henry. Kneecamp rolls it over. Good run through. Kanapke Ooh. swung on by Wendell. That St. Henry was in the net. Thought the official signaled number 20, but I don't. We don't have a number 20. For well, I, I don't know all those numbers. The fist is sometimes a 10, so it was probably number. Oh, it was probably okay. 12. Gotcha. It was probably uh, on, -trop. on trop. Yeah. Serve from Coldwater, however, goes in the net, so we'll exchange points. And now Lydia Whirling will serve. Whirling the junior into the back row. Lydia Whirling the ace to tie to three. That's her second ace. Tonight. Average is just under 10 assists a set. Has a couple of aces here. Put some points on the board by herself. Whirling into the back row once again. Kanapke, quick set, rejected at the net. Maya Antrop. And Molly Wendell combines for the block. Yeah, they timed that really well. That's the third block for a point for St. Henry. On top, a 5'10 senior. Molly Wendell, a 5'10 freshman. Whirling serves once again. High short serve, the Wally pop. Kanapke, back set. Poked up high into the air by St. Henry. And Ryan Busher will tap it over. Etzler, Kanapke. Big swing there by Blossing Game. Blocked at the net. We're sent back to him. St. Henry tried to leap and dive, but the point goes to Coldwater. That's Lager's ninth kill. All square at four on the St. Henry tile scoreboard. Young players should watch. Uh, young players should watch uh, Spencer Etzler on her serve. Etzler on her serve receive. She just does her. Her technique is just perfect. Antrop tips it over. Trying to stay out of the net, is able to. Tipped, dung out by the Redskins. Trying to sit straight to the floor. St. Henry keeps it alive. Etzler, Ligers, tipped over by the Cavaliers and dug out by St. Henry. Kneekamp will send it over into the back row. Dug out by Etzler. Ligers comes and chases it. Tipped over by Wendell. Saved by the Redskins. Nice job by me and Kneekamp to get it over. Quick set, blocked at the net, tipped over. And Blasey game just pokes it over. See that one hand set? That was nice. Ligers set over to Wendell. Dug out in the back row by the Redskins. Knee camp to swing. Oh, Big save by Rachel Schroyer, the libero for Coldwater. And the swing and kill for Riley Rissmiller at the night's longest point. And the advantage goes to Coldwater 5-4. Boy, what a point. Both sides really playing well, digging the setting great. Hitters are mixing it up. A really nice, a really nice point there. In an official's timeout. They're checking with the scorekeeper. Is this a, we're making sure everybody's the lined coach, up? Yeah, correctly. the coach can ask for a lineup check. A lot of times in a long point like that, you, you forget what rotation you're in. And so um, you're allowed to ask for this. Is that also one of those, doesn't hurt you? you Kind of buying a timeout almost of hey. Well, I, will, I don't think so. Second. Well, uh, possibly, but but I think in this case they it was sincere. Ligers the serve. Knee camp sends it over for St. Henry. Ligers the set. Swung on by Blossom Game and she finds the floor. And she's got six kills now. So with that rotation check, it's just that that point went you know a, a minute. It, yeah. You, you might have started in the back left corner and you end up in, at the outside hitter spot up here. You, 
Yeah, and, and sometimes you can't remember it if, if if we rotated. Is this my first serve? Did it be rotate? It's just uh, it's just easy to forget. Another big swing for Madison Wendell. But the Redskins get the point after a Cavalier in the net. So me and E camp serving for St. Henry, looking to tie it up at six. Short. Etzler the dig. Riss Miller tips it over and down. She picks up her third kill. 6-5, Riley Rissmiller. Extends the lead to Coldwater to two at 7-5. Wendell serves. Whirling the set to Gels. Gels dug out by Etzler. Schroyer the pass up once again to Etzler. Blocked at the net, but it lands wide. And the lead grows for the Cavaliers. That's their second kill. Madison Wendell, the 5'11 junior, serving for Coldwater. Looking to stretch that lead. Dug out in the back row. Gells the swing. Gells the kill. Well, she pounded that one through the block. Chloe, she, Chloe Gells, a 5'10 sophomore. One of her first kills of the evening. Yeah, just, just her third overall. By a busher, the jump serve. Ligers, cross court pass to Etzler. Big swing there by the 5 8 sophomore. Finds the floor to make it 9 6. Morgan Blossom game to serve. Just a hair too long. Well, they missed six serves in the first set, didn't miss any in the second, and now this is two, two missed serves, so eight overall. Serve from the Redskins into the back row. Ligers, Etzler, the serve, or Etzler, the swing, excuse me. St. Henry called for over the line. Now your foot can be on the line, and part of your foot can be over the line, but when the entire foot goes across the line, it's a violation. 10-7, Coldwater the lead. Make it 10-8 on a kill from Chloe Gells from the middle. Gells, I think, struggled there in the early going, Chris, with that the block trying to get it over, and a couple of times had to put some arc on every time she's taking a swing and now uh, kind of settling in here in set number three. Yeah, she has four kills now. Ball hits the antenna on the serve for Chloe Gels, and she's cut the lead to one. Third ace serve, uh, fourth ace serve for St. Henry tonight. 10 to nine. Yells the St. Henry leader in aces. Big swing there from the Redskins. Can the Cavaliers get it over? They can. Ryan Pusher the dig. Whirling tips it over and down. Heads up play by the junior center. Hits the floor and we're tied at 10. Well, she jump sets a lot when she's in the front row and jump sets. That ball's probably above the net, so that's okay to return. Very deceptive. That's sort of the pass. Ligers dug out by Gels. Pass from Whirling, knee camp, the standing swing. Cavaliers, same thing there, blocked at the net, tipped over by Coldwater. Whirling tried to go get it. St. Henry called for a in the net. Nice Lydia Whirling, the guilty party. Just to remind everybody, your hair can be in the net, so those long ponytails, they can touch the net, and that's legal. Was that was that in the rule originally, or is that one of those you know like employee uh, employee must wash hands <laughs> before? <laughs> That's as long as I know, it's been in the rule book. Big kill there for me and Ecamp. Another tally for her scorebook, ties it at 11. I didn't know if it was one of those that nobody thought about. Hey, technically, yeah. <laughs> is it okay no. if our hair well, is in the net? Or I, I think it's been there a long time. If they played a whole season before they had to make that amendment. 
Allie Fullenkamp, the serve. Swung on by the Cavaliers, and the kill goes to Madison Wendell. That's her ninth kill. 5'11", Jr. Gives Coldwater the 12-11 lead. Setters on both teams are really mixing it up. Whirling for St. Henry and Ligers and Kanapke for Coldwater. They're really moving the ball around to lots of hitters. Kira Kanapke serving for Coldwater. Into the back row. Knee camp to swing, knee camp to kill. Spencer Etzler dove to try to keep that one off the floor, but we're all square once again on the St. Henry Tiles scoreboard. And that's Knee Camp's uh, 12th kill. St. Henry 19 and 5, Coldwater 21 and 4 coming into tonight's match. Set number three, Cavaliers took the first two. Redskins. Set up the offense, knee camp to tip, dug out by Coldwater. Knee camp tipped it straight back down, but Etzler's there. Swing from Ligers, blocked wide, and the point goes to Coldwater. And now Ligers double figures and kills with 10. Rachel Schroyer will come back in for Kendra Clooney. For Coldwater, Schroyer, the libero for the Cavaliers, as Ligers will now serve. Dung out by Knee Camp. Set to Ontrop, and Ontrop gets the swing and kill. Maya Ontrop, the 5'10 senior, now ties it at 13. Yeah, we now have six curls with kills for St. Henry. Wow. Knee Camp with the most kills for St. Henry, serves it away. Ligers, back set. Raya Pusher able to roll it over. Etzler, set. Dug out by St. Henry. Whirling cross court pass to Gels. Gels finds the floor in the back. Lead goes to the Redskins at 14 13 after the kill. Knee camp serving once again with a one point advantage. That one in the net, and we're tied at 14. You know, Garrett, the number of long points has really increased as this day has gone yeah. on, the match has gone on. The first set, there weren't very many long points, but we've had quite a few since then. No, I, in that first set, I think it was, we were into the, the tens, I think, before I, I thought, okay, that was a, that was a normal long, a longer, a longer point. But we're all square at 14, as number 14, Madison Wendell serves for Coldwater. Quick set to Ontrop, she'll poke it over, dung out by the Cavaliers. Ligers, quick set to Morgan Blossom game. See by the Redskins. Big swing, dug out by Coldwater. Schroyer, the pass to Riss Miller. Riss Miller's long swing into the back row. Gels swings, dug out by Schroyer once again. Ligers, pass to Etzler, punches it over, but it's wide of the antenna. Timeout called by the Cavaliers. We'll step aside as well. St. Henry leads 15-14 in set number three on WOSN. St. Henry holding a 15-14 lead here in set number three. He can retain this set to avoid elimination in the OHSEA Division III volleyball tournament. Raya Busher will serve for the Redskins. Sends it away. Jenna Ligers, cross-court pass to Spencer Etzler, and she left it long. St. Henry with a two-point advantage now at 16-14 on the St. Henry Tile scoreboard. Ligers, back set. Blossom game blocked but it's wide. So Blasting Game now has uh, seven kills. Stakes starting to get a little higher here in set number three. 16-15. Serves it away by Mia Kanamke. Chloe Gels the swing. Tipped at the net, finds the floor. Gels the kill. Lead back out to two. He's got four kills now in this set. Six overall. It's been a big set, third set for Chloe Gels, a 5'10 sophomore. As now Lauren Teeman will serve once again for the Redskins, leading by two.
tipped at the net. Another point to St. Henry. And they now lead by three. All the momentum resting with St. Henry. So they'll send it away into the back row. Ligers set to Etzler. Etzler tips and hits the wood. So smart there. That's her third kill in this set. Just the slightest of touches well, over and Well, down. and your spike, to disguise that, your spike approach has to look exactly the same as you're going to hit it hard, and you just sort of slow the hand down right at the last minute. And that body control takes uh, a little bit to learn, I'm sure, as the serve from Mia Kanapke ends up as an ace. And Coldwater's cut the lead to one just like that. That's their 10th ace tonight. Kanapke, another serve. Busher, whirling, yells the swing, and she hits the floor. And that's her fifth kill in this uh, set. Nineteen, seventeen. Gell's now serving. Another big swing there by Lydia Whirling, the setter, getting in on the kill action. Throws the lead back out to three, and another timeout ball by Coldwater. We'll step aside as well. St. Henry leads 2017 in set number three on WOSN. The point for Coldwater. Ligers another kill. Makes it 28-18. And now Spencer Etzler will come back to serve for the Cavaliers. Whirling to knee camp, dug out by Coldwater. Etzler. The pass to Ligers, blocked at the net and down. Lydia Whirling and Ellie Fullenkamp closing the doors. Makes it 21-18. And that's the second block in this set for the St. Henry Redskins. Now Fullenkamp back to serve. She'll poke it over high. Kanaki, cross-court pass, blocked once again at the net by the Redskins. Another block and kill, Maya Ontrop closes the door on Kendra Clooney, and it's 22-18 as the Redskins look to close out set number three and force a fourth set. Fullenkamp, a straight line drive serve. Kanapke, poked over high by Madison Wendell. Whirling, knee camp, knee camp the kill. Kill number 12. 23-18, Coldwater one sets number one and two, 25-16, 25-19. Redskins looking to take set number three. Kanapke, Ligers, Long, and St. Henry's forced set point. Well, they'll have six opportunities to, to uh, get this 25th point. Fullenkamp sends it away. Cavaliers, high over the net. Whirling, on drop and down! St. Henry staves off elimination and forces a set number four with a 25-18 win in set number three. Fourth set action when we return in this Division Three District Final here on WOSN. Sponsor for Mercer County teams is Lake Belt Industrial Mowing Supply. The locations in Coldwater and Greenville. And set number four about to get underway. Coldwater leads two to one. I'm Garrett C. Right alongside Chris Ludhol in this Division Three District Final between the Cavaliers and Redskins. As Mia Kanapke serving for Coldwater. And the first point of the set goes to the Cavaliers. So 
One nothing Coldwater. Kanaki another sur serve. What a great <laughs> tip there, Whirling. Well, you know, that, when you play in the backyard, there's a lot of that kind of stuff going on, but you can't do it here. Can't do you it got, in that no, front row. No, you got prolonged contact with that. Kanapke serves once again. Chloe Gells this way. Dug out by the Cavaliers. Ligers tips over. Whirling. Back set. Swung on by Fullenkamp. And Ellie Fullenkamp has the first point for St. Henry. We haven't seen too many slides, uh, backslides on that, so one of the few, a nice kill for Fellenkamp. Chloe Gells now serving. Ligers a swing. Blocked. But the point goes to Coldwater. That's her 12th kill. Spencer Etzler serving now for the Cavaliers. Punches it over. Spencer Etzler, another ace for her. That's her fifth ace tonight. The 11th ace for Coldwater overall. Etzler had 65 aces coming into tonight. And she's got another one. Well, she likes to serve that right down line. Of course, she's getting the serving zone from uh, one of the assistant coaches, and I can't see that from here. But I, I would just go right back to the same spot. That they do. Whirling the set. Knee camp to swing, blocked by Coldwater, and they've got a five-point advantage here in set number four. That's their fifth block. St. Henry Tile scoreboard reads Coldwater 6-1. As Etzler, high lollipop serve. Received, whirling, cross-court pass to knee camp, dug out by the Cavaliers. Kanapke, Ligers, blocked by St. Henry at the net. Lydia Whirling and Ellie Fullenkamp close the doors. The Ligers has hit that a couple of times, almost parallel to the net, not quite, of course. Uh, but that's a tough block. Ellie Fullenkamp received by Etzler. Pass over to Madison Wendell. Blocked at the net. Wendell tries to tip it over. Tipped over by Whirling. Etzler tries to find a campfire and does. Drops it perfectly in the middle of the floor. Well, that just froze the Redskins. Seven to two. Five-point lead on the St. Henry Tile scoreboard here in game number four. Kira Kanapke to serve. Whirling, set, knee camp tips it over. Tipped right back, though, by Coldwater. Knee camp will roll that one over. Swung on by the Cavaliers, dug out by St. Henry. On drop, wide, and it's a six-point lead for Coldwater. St. Henry will call a timeout. We'll keep it here. Eight to two. Coldwater off to this hot start in set number four, Chris. Well, yeah, they got themselves in a little bit of a hole, but it's early yet. And you, you get a side out point and two or three points a couple times in a row, and you're right back in it. Um, if you're over in the cold water huddle right now, you want to just say, keep the pedal to the metal. We cannot let up. Let's, you know, let's just win it in four. So they lead eight to two after. Taking set number one, 25-16. They won set number two, 25-19. And then St. Henry won set three, 25-18. Winner moves on to the Millbury Regional here in Division Three at Lake High School. And that's typically a pretty good regional. So the huddle's breaking. Sending everybody back out to the floor. As Kira Kanaki will continue to serve. The 5'10 freshman. It'll be tough for St. Henry to get it back over. Raya Busher does. And Spencer Etzler will just set it over. Whirling. Knee camp from the middle. Blocked at the net. Dug out by the Redskins. Knee camp. Didn't get enough on that one. 
And it's a seven point lead now for Coldwater. Another serve from Kanapke, that one just over the top of the net. And Niekamp has to send it over. Kanapke, big swing there from Morgan Blossom game. And the lead has grown to eight. That was a nice hit there, that's her eighth kill. Kira Kanapke continuing to serve for Coldwater. Growing this lead, that one long. And St. Henry able to put the red light to the rally. That's their ninth missed serve, but six of them were in the first set, so uh, they've sharpened that up a little bit and improved that at the same time, still, still serving tough. Lydia Whirling for St. Henry with the service. Done out by Schroyer. Cross court pass to Wendell. That one long as well. Blossing game, excuse me. That one long as well. St. Henry cutting the lead to six at 10-4 on the St. Henry Tile scoreboard. Whirling that serve long. That's just the third missed serve for St. Henry. Riley Rissmiller back in the ball game for Coldwater. Subbing in for Mia Kanapke. There's Jenna Ligers. Punch it away for the Cavaliers. Whirling, back set. Molly Wendell the kill. St. Henry trying to put together a little rally here. Trailing 11-5, me and E camp the serve. Schroyer, Ligers, Rissmiller the swing, punched up high in the air by Raya Busher. Redskins able to get it back over. Chris Miller into the net. Redskin faithful under the prolonged contact. Doesn't matter, the point goes to them. And they've trimmed the lead to five. Well, sometimes those one-hand set attempts don't look very good, but just because they don't look very good doesn't mean it's illegal. <laughs> and the serve from Neat Camp. Too much on it. Coldwater back to a six-point lead on the St. Henry Tile scoreboard. It's been an even game, though, since the timeout. Madison Wendell, the serve. Redskins get it back over. Ligers, the set, blossing game. Dug out by St. Henry. Chloe Gells, the kill. She's got eight kills now. Shrinks the lead back to five at 12-7. Maya Busher, the libero for St. Henry, serving. Ligers. Etzler, the big spike for Coldwater. Right in the perfect spot to make it 13-7. And that's her sixth kill. Nia Kanapke serving once again. The freshman center for Coldwater. Gells the swing, dug out by the Cavaliers. Ligers, Etzler tried to roll it over, blocked. Cavaliers try to get into that back corner, can't do it. Gells the swing, poked high back up in the air. Ligers, tipped over by Clooney, blocked, and a point goes to St. Henry. 13-8. Lauren Tiemann back on to serve for St. Henry. Trailing by five. Etzler to receive. Serve from Ligers, another big swing by Etzler and on the floor. Well, it starts with the pass, and uh, that pass was from Etzler. The set, and then the kill from Etzler. 14 to eight, Coldwater with the advantage, and serving. Kanapke into the net. Gells the serve. 
swing from Ligers, dug out by Gels. Nice dig. Whirling, tipped over by Ellie Fullingkamp. They'll set up Etzler. Etzler dug out by Raya Busher. Tipped over by Whirling. Cold water, alert. Etzler poked up high in the air by Niekamp. She'll come back, get the swing. And Niekamp just a hair too much on it. St. Henry again adamant that the ball was tipped. Well, I think that they're claiming that the tip happened in the back row just before it went out. Fifteen nine, cold water the lead. Me and Ecamp blocked at the net. Dumb back out by the Cavaliers. A quick set, tipped over and down. Channel Iyers, I believe, the kill there for Coldwater. Well, Raya Busher was there, but um, the ball just got uh, down to the floor too quickly. Spencer at sort of serve. Whirling. Fullenkamp, the big swing. Cavaliers able to keep it alive. Busher. Whirling. Knee camp. Tucks it inside the line. No doubt about that one. It's her 13th kill. Big night continues for Mia Niekamp. 16-10. Coldwater trying to close it out in set number four. St. Henry trying to force a set number five. Kanapke, back set. Clooney, well wide into the first row of the bleachers. And the momentum starting to build for the Redskins. Just a hair. As their faithful start to come alive once again. Fallen camp, sidewinding serve. Kanapke has to go chase it. Etzler from behind the 10-foot line. Whirling. Kanapke blocked, and it goes out. And the point goes to St. Henry. Timeout called by Goldwater. We'll step aside as well. Cavaliers lead 16-12 in set number four here on WOSN. Scoreboard presented by St. Henry Tile with several locations in both Ohio and Indiana. Best of luck to all area teams. St. Henry trailing 16-12 and the ace out of the timeout for Ellie Fullenkamp. Trims that lead to three at 16-13 on the St. Henry Tile scoreboard. That's her first ace. Only the fifth for St. Henry tonight. Fullenkamp punches over another one. That's the diving dig. Swing by Coldwater, tipped back over by St. Henry. Kanapke, quick set, dug out by the Redskins. Kanapke, swing, Kanapke the kill. 16-14. I think that was knee camp on the kill there. I believe, yeah, you, yeah. you're right. Uh, yeah. Well, this is one of those rotations where Coldwater uses a two-person a two serve receive, and it has worked pretty well. Fallen camp to Etzler. Swung on by Ligers. Blocked. And a point to the Redskins. After Mia Kanapke. That ball never went over the net. Oh, okay, so we're calling. Yep. That's, that's force hits, not an error on number four. Yes, right. So 16 15. Etzler. Tried to be dumped over by Madison Wendell into the net. And we are all tied at 16. Well, since that uh, St. Henry timeout, they've outscored Coldwater 14 to 8. Ellie Fullenkamp, Kanapke the set. Wide, and St. Henry has their first lead of set number four at 17-16. We've got about 400 students standing up right now. Kanapke, back set to Ligers, dug out by the Redskins. Whirling, knee camp, blocked at the net, saved by the Redskins. Set up knee camp once again, blocked at the net, and they'll try to set up knee camp once again. Knee camp tips it over and down. That's her 16th kill. Another timeout called by the Coldwater Cavaliers. We'll keep it here. The St. Henry faithful on their feet. 
as they were trailing several times here in set number four and have battled all the way back to take an 18-16 lead. Well, that's one thing about volleyball. You know, you're never out of it. Although the higher the points go, the less the team that's behind can afford to just exchange points because every exchange is a point on the board and the leading team gets close to that 25. But I think they were, was it 16 to 10, I believe, or 16 to 11? Yeah. And so, yeah. And now we're looking at 18-16 yeah. where the Redskins have all yep. the momentum. And what's the message here from Nikki Etzler? Is this just one of those, just let's try to break the momentum time yeah, just Yeah, just one pass, one set, and one kill, and, and, we're, and we, broke the, we broke the string. If St. Yeah. Henry can close out set number four here, or forces set number five, Coldwater serves to end it in four. The serves going right down line. Ellie Fullenkamp. Nope. Into the back row to Etzler. Back set by Ligers. And the point goes to Coldwater. That's her 13th kill. Yeah, I thought she got the down line sign from uh, Coach Rosenbeck. Now Kira Kanafke will serve for Coldwater. Had a lengthy spot earlier in this set, and she gets the ace. All tied at 18. Well, she had three aces in the first set, and this is her first one since then. Kira Kanafke is a 5'10 freshman. And she'll serve it away tied at 18. Long out by the Redskins, swung on, tipped back over by St. Henry, cold water alert. Ligers tries to tip, and the Cavaliers regain the lead. That's her third kill on this set. I have a feeling that uh, she's going to get set quite a few times the rest of this set. The set will serve from Kira Kanaki too long. And we're tied at 19 on the St. Henry Tile scoreboard. So that'll send Lydia Whirling back to serve for the Redskins, trying to stave off elimination. Into that back corner, Kanaki sent to Blossom game, dug out by Busher. Whirling, cross court pass to Kneecamp. Kneecamp finds the floor. That's Lee Camp's fifth kill in this set. 17th overall. Lydia Whirling back to serve with a one-point lead for the Redskins. Again, looking to force set number five. Schroyer, the dig. Pass over to Ligers. Dug by the Redskins, one-handed. Busher just gets it over. Etzler, Kanapke, big set to Blossom game, and she finds the floor. There's a great dig, though, in the back row by Bomber. And that is uh, Blasting Game's ninth kill. We're approaching uh, having a lot of players and double figures and kills on both sides. General Ligers tied at 20. Sends it away. Whirling. Knee camp. Big swing. Dug out by Ligers. Metzler. Wrist Miller standing swing. Into the back row. Ontrop swings at it. Blocked at the net. Tipped over. Blocked once again. And we got a Cavalier in the net. I didn't see who it was. I didn't see the number. Number 10 is, I believe, the number they gave us is Jenna Ligers. Or excuse me, number 11, Riley Rissmiller. They gave the fist. That's throwing me off, Chris. I fist and a one. Fist and a one. Swing by the Cavaliers. Busher behind the 10 foot line from Kneecamp. Dug out by Etzler. Set. Swung on by Blasen game, saved at the net by the Redskins. Chloe Gells just gets it over. Etzler, Ligers, tipped over, punched over by Madison Wendell. Another long set, that's another a, long point. That's I a great say. point, yeah. Wow. Saved by the Redskins, Raya Busher. Cross court pass to Gells. Gells gets a swing on it, but Etzler saves it. Blasen game, dug out in the back row by the Redskins. In the net, tipped over. Cavalier fans aren't happy. The point stays alive, however. Gels, the swing, and into the net. 
Both sides cheering, though. That was a really hard-fought point, one of the best ones of the night. Tied at 21 here in set number four. Cavaliers looking to end the match. St. Henry looking to force set number five. As Jenna Ligers will serve. We're playing to four. First team to four, I guess, 21-21. Excuse me, Madison Wendell will serve. Whirling. Gels tipped over. Saved by the Cavaliers. Etzler. Riss Miller tries to punch it down. Saved by Raya Busher. Gels rolls it over to the back corner to Schroyer. Sent from Ligers. Tipped over by Blossing Game. Finds a spot on the floor. And that gives Coldwater a one-point advantage. Another good point, man. Nice, nice uh, spot there by Blassing Game. That's her third kill on this set. Timeout called by St. Henry. We'll step aside as well. 22-21 in set number four in the Division Three District Finals. Here on WOSN. Semi-final, St. Henry looking to force a set number five as Madison Wendell, the serve, whirling. Sets up Chloe Gels. Gels just wide, and it's 23-21. That's not a bad idea. That spot's open, and she likes to go across court. We'll see now if she gets the ball again. Maybe she'll go down line. 23-21, both signs out of timeouts here in set number four. Wendell into the back row. Whirling, Gels, big swing, and she gets the kill. Well, they, they like to run those outside hitters into the middle off service even. It's very effective. That's her uh, ninth kill tonight. Ryan Busher on to serve. The libero for St. Henry at 23-22. Just long, and it's now match point for Coldwater. They have two opportunities here to get that point number 25. Mia Kanafke, the freshman, serving. Just over the net. There and the Coldwater is. Cavaliers are going to the regionals. The district title goes to Coldwater on the ace from Mia Kanapke. 25-22, set number four ends. The match ends on the ace by the five, eight freshman, Mia Kanapke. They win 25-22 in a thriller here at Kaleida. We're going to step aside when we return. We'll come back, chat with Nikki Essler and the Coldwater Cavaliers, the Division Three District Champions of Coldwater. They're headed to Millbury Lake Regional. And we'll chat with the Cavaliers when we return here on WOSN. We're back here at Collider wrapping up a district championship for the Coldwater Cavaliers in four sets. I'm Garrett Seamite, joined alongside Nikki Etzler. And Nikki, you guys have gotten here time after time, and, and now you get to you get through, you get, win the district title, you get to the regionals. What's going through your mind right now? Well, you know, this district is always so stinking tough. And the, like we've been in the finals against like Liberty Benton, who ends up winning the state. So, you know, we take a lot of pride in being in this district, but we recognize that it's a real gauntlet once you get here. Um, so we knew that St. Henry was going to give us such a run for our money tonight. They're such a great team with so many talented players, and their coaching staff is just tremendous. So we were so excited like to get that first and second set. We knew they'd come back fighting in that third. And also when we had them up in the fourth, they still came back, you know, and really pushed, which we expected from them being in the max. So what a great match. What a great display of girls' high school volleyball in this area. I can't be prouder of my team and just to be a part of it. So You mentioned that fourth set. You guys got up pretty big there right yeah. off the bat. 11-3. Was it 11-3? It was, it was a 6-1 at one point, and then I, like, uh, I think 11-4, yeah. and then it was pretty even there after they called timeout. What did you say to your girls um, up there and then having to take the timeout after St. Henry called back? Well, you know, number five went back to the line after – that second timeout. Well, she was already on the line. She has such a quick serve and it drops. And so we knew coming in in our scouting report that she can get quick points. So we were just like, you have to execute what we need to do offensively when we get that pass. Um, and they did. So, but 
it took two timeouts to get that. <laughs> well, all that all the matters is you got a gold, you got a gold Ohio around your neck. Congratulations on the win. Thank you so much. That's Coldwater head coach Nikki Atzler joining us here as we wrap up our coverage from the Division Three district final. We'll bring in Chris Luthold now. And, and Chris, what, final takeaways from tonight's match, and, and what can you say about this Coldwater Cavalier squad? Well, first, your first question. Um, it got off to a little bit slow start. The points came very quickly. It seemed like the teams were struggling. There were a lot of points that were scored on airs, but that second, uh, the third and fourth sets were just fantastic, just exactly what we expect to see from two MAC schools. And uh, for Coldwater then, your, for your question on that, you know, they had that 8-2 to two lead in the fourth set, and St. Henry came back and took the lead but Coldwater was able to hold on to the end. And congratulations to St. Henry for a great season. Also to Coldwater, and good luck to them in the regional next week. So the Cavaliers move on. They win the Division Three District Championship tonight in four sets. They take the first two, 25-16 and 25-19. St. Henry wins set number three, 25-18. And Coldwater, excuse me, claws back and wins set number three, or set number four, 25 to 22. For our fantastic WOSN crew and Chris Luthold, I'm Garrett C. Rice saying so long from Kaleida here on WOSN.